Ouch, hold on. <clears throat> oh, if you... What am I even trying to say here? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Rumor has it that Albert Einstein not only was on the autism spectrum, but he was an amateur musician who credits music with his paths to scientific discoveries. If you had three minutes to break the mold, what would you do? What would you say? If you know me, you know that I have a lot to say. So, the producers of the show, they gave me a time limit. Three minutes. And so in three minutes, I'd love for us to discuss diversity, what it means, and who's been left out of that definition. So I'll start by sharing, you got it, facts and stats. Did you know that an estimated 14% of public school students in the United States receive special education? Now the question is, how many of those students actually have access to music education? Research shows that music has tremendous effects not just on well-being but also performance on core school subjects. So, if students with special needs are not receiving equal access to music education, then are we not perpetuating the educational inequities that these students face? And are we not further marginalizing these students? Think about it. Today, we have several guests. But all these guests are music instructors from the Jazz Hands Musicians Academy. And today they'll be discussing diversity in music education and teaching music in this virtual landscape that we found ourselves in. So, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Carol DeLeon and I am a vocal teacher at Jazz Hands for Autism. Why, hello there. This is George Earth, the A&R manager, music instructor, and career coach for Jazz Hands for Autism. Hello, my name is Chris Lick. I'm a accompanist with Jazz Hands for Autism. Happy to be a part of the Three Minutes with Yufunanya, our wonderful director, the brainchild of this whole entire program, and is a wonderful human being. All right, so quarantine, what a word. So question number one, how has teaching online affected our students? So the first thing I noticed is just how quickly humans can adapt to new situations and really get the most out of it. I have been inspired by their resilience. And even though there have been frustrations navigating through this virtual learning space, they've adapted, they're still eager to grow and learn. Another thing I noticed is that almost all of our students have become so much better with working with computers, with working with documents, with being able to really advocate for their own computer skills. Wonderful lessons during this time, thank goodness. One is implementing the practice of being present. Another thing that I've noticed is just how present they are, how really engaged they are in the classes when they're there. All right, so practical methods that I use or be in the act of diversity is to genuinely get to know my students, get to know their background, the music they grew up listening to and why, and we celebrate in their cultural differences some of the work I do. The music director for a church, as music director there, I hire singers. And so the diversity of people that I have uh, doing this are people of different colors, different backgrounds, and certainly some people with uh, intellectual disabilities. Diversity and inclusion is what I do. This is near and dear to my heart because as a long time touring and recording musician, every band I've been in has been a variety of genders, a variety of ethnicities, and a variety of cultures. It's crucial, it should be crucial for every field, but um, with art, uh, it's, it's definitely something, there's, there's so many different cultural things that everybody has to offer. And that is also how new art gets made. It's also about listening to other music, other sounds from around the world, rhythms, scales, performance, expressions. To make sure again, that we're creating 
a world that, that mirrors how the world actually is. The world is diverse. There's lots of cultures. And then there's the practical process of accepting one's own vocal sound and quality. So it is absolutely imperative at an artistic level, but more than that, it's imperative on a human survival level because we're all in this world together. And that is what music ultimately does. It brings everybody together. It's very beautiful.